Welcome to the Electricity of Life, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. A renaissance is taking place in our species' understanding of the nature of physical consciousness. Research into biocomputing, from which quantum computers may be developed, may also instill humanity with greater respect for living things and reveal electric forces in biology which may pertain to the very origins of physical life. Microtubules are present in the cilia that single-celled life forms use to swim, and they form much of the cytoskeleton of all cells, where they fluctuate between states of growth and dissolution. But neurons throughout the body are filled with microtubules of a stable length, which support a neuron's delicate filamentary forms. Some defy our common-sense expectations of cell size and communication, like the human sciatic nerve, where single neurons may span a meter in length from the spine to the foot. Microtubules transport various materials accurately across long distances, even organelles, like the energy-producing mitochondria. Packages are guided along the surface of microtubules by various motor proteins which interact with the tiny tau proteins on the microtubule surface, like road signs. But meanwhile, under the microtubule surface, a rich domain of electrical activity and quantum effects has garnered attention from researchers exploring quantum computing. Within the tubulin proteins which a microtubule is made of, an array of electron-conducting hydrophobic pockets allow energy to pass through each tubulin in multiple potential directions. This forms a larger network of possible patterns that energy can exist in in the cylindrical lattice. In each hydrophobic pocket, the electron clouds of indole and phenylalanine rings may become shifted one way or another, much like a bit of data in a computer, a one or a zero. This quantum bit can also exist in a state of quantum superposition between both states. This alters the pathways that energy can inhabit in the microtubule. This can be observed using quantum imaging techniques. It appears that such energy inhabiting the microtubule also possesses phase coherence. The microtubule has no change in direct current resistance, regardless of its length, and possesses other traits of coherence. While each hydrophobic pocket might constitute a quantum bit depending on how its electron cloud is shifted, the larger pathways for energy throughout the microtubule lattice may themselves be quantum bits. This is called a topological qubit. But such properties suddenly vanish if a microtubule's inner core of water molecules is drained. It is speculated that the hydrogen and oxygen bonds serve as a medium through which the electronic resonance of surrounding tubulins becomes integrated and synchronized. The tubulin pockets of a microtubule are capable of a feat of synchronization that sounds even more impressive still. In a heat bath flanked by electrodes, a pumping of electromagnetic energy stimulates the tubulin to achieve synchronous vibration with one another, forming into long sheets and then rolling to form microtubules. Even without GTP, a nucleotide normally involved in the adding of tubulins onto the microtubule lattice, these synchronous oscillations in tubulin protein, excited by alternating current, are enough to form microtubules with their classic cylindrical structure. On the more theoretical end of microtubule research, Stuart Hameroff and Roger Penrose are well known for their theory that our experience of consciousness, our qualia, of what it feels like to be aware, is directly related in some way to the large-scale orchestration of quantum superposition in microtubules. Each moment of this surely occurs at timescales far faster than we are conscious of, but builds into a state of feeling conscious as we examine the world around us. Dr. Hameroff is taking part in research to cure the dissolution of memory seen in Alzheimer's by stimulating the correct growth of brain microtubules using transcranial ultrasound. I am particularly thankful to Anurban Bandyopadhyay and his colleagues for their skillful work and long-term vision, 
without which much of this information would still be mere speculation. It will be exciting to see what new innovations arise from this evolving discipline of biocomputing. Furthermore, I look forward to watching our species slowly integrate into our many cultures an awareness of the electricity of life at scales both large and small. For continued episodes of the Electricity of Life series, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.